In addition to installing a firewall, uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation also recommends installing fail to ban. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. So we'll do sudo apt get install fail to ban. Yes, we want to install and take up that additional space. And it looks like we ran into an issue getting the program to download from the mirror. So what we'll do is sudo app get update. And this will download an updated copy of the mirrors. Uh, sometimes uh, the apt program has a problem uh, retrieving a program because its mirrors aren't updated. So what I just did is I issued the command sudo apt get update, which will update the mirror information, which are basically download sites. And sometimes it takes a while for it to download. So I will pause here while it does that. All right, so let's try that command again. I'm just gonna press the up arrow to get back to that previous command. Okay, let's try it again. Yes, I want to install that. It's looking a little bit better this time, I think. Looks like it got everything that it needed. It's just updating, it's extracting everything, unpacking everything, and creating links. Okay, so now that it's installed, there's just a couple of things we need to do in order to get it operational. Uh, we need to copy the configuration file, which is called gel.conf, uh, to a file named gel.local. So we're going to do sudo uh, cp for copy, and that file that we need to copy is in the etc directory in the fail to ban directory, and the file name is gel.conf. And then we're going to copy it into the etc fail to ban folder again. Uh, but instead we're going to call it the gel.local file. Um, there are a lot of configuration options for fail to ban. Um, you can see them by looking at the actual gel.local file. So I'll actually go in there, sudo nano etc fail to ban gel.local. And as you can see there's there's a lot in here, so you can customize it however you wish. But that's it for installing fail to ban. So I'm just going to get out of that by Control X, and uh, we'll move on.